Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's beginning of April. 7th of April. And that means another month of van life is behind us. <laughs> and like always, we're gonna do a little wrap, wrap up. We're gonna talk money. We're gonna talk statistics, uh, best experiences. And uh, like you saw, today we're coming to you from inside a cloud. <laughs> we're like 1300 meters from the sea level and we're literally in a cloud, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. But I guess, let's get going. And first of all, uh, we're gonna talk uh, how it's like here in Greece at the moment. Everything changes all the time. Yeah, you know, Corona restrictions. And uh, what do you wanna say? What's different in this country? Or how is it living the van life at the moment? It's beautiful. Probably not the answer you were expecting. Um, it is beautiful, even though everything is constantly changing. Again, nothing has changed for us. Yep. Uh, we've had one police encounter. Um, that wasn't too bad either. No. Yeah, no. We, we were parked up on this beautiful beach, yeah. and uh, in the morning, uh, an officer came and just said, "Leave." But. By law, wild, camp wild camping is not allowed in Greece. Um, so yeah, there was a reason to get rid of us, and we're we're no hard feelings. Thank you for not finding us. <laughs> yeah, and when we have been driving around, nobody has stopped us. We've seen several police cars. When talking about what we can see on the streets and so on, you can see how people are wearing their masks less and less and and it's yeah. coming more alive yeah. and masks have kind of turned into scarves like when we came to Greece all the masks were up the nose though the nose was out now they're under here keeping the neck nice and warm and or if there's a police officer then they kind of come on the chin and like, uh. another big thing that has changed over the last month is that archaeological sites have been reopened He's a big history geek, so he's, yeah. he was very, very, very happy about it. Yeah. I, I grew up with wooden swords running around and playing that. I'm Achilles! Where's my Hector? Uh, about the archaeological sites, it turns out that you have to pay for them. Yes. Unless you are from European Union and under 25. Then it's 25 doesn't count, you have to be yes. uh, under 25. I've been trying to lie him into being 25 and that's how we found out that 25 doesn't count. Yeah. Um, the ladies are usually quite nice but they will ask for your passport, especially if you're almost two meters tall and you have a big beard. Hey, mask covers the beard. I still wear, wear a mask. Or maybe, maybe it's the bu bushy eyebrows then. <laughs> but let's talk money. We are going to start with the archaeological sites. Uh, we should probably tell first how much we spent all together. It's like... <laughs> okay, throw throw the number at them. So this month we spent 718 euros living in a van in Greece. So quite similar to last month. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> the archaeological sites have th taken a big chunk out of that 718 yeah. all together for two sites we have spent 48 euros yeah. so 12 for a person yeah. per site it, it's sad because usually you get to go to the muse museum for this money as well but for me at least they've been both worth it like we've been to delphi and olympia and worth every cent like, history like, nerd, a history nerd over like, here. Like they say in Greece, live your myth in here. So I've been able to live my myth a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's archaeological sites. Uh, and although the whole sum was quite similar to last month, there's been big changes. Mm -hmm. We spent lay, way less on repairing the car. 50 euros. 50 euros. Last month it was around 300. But that 50 euros was in one mechanic shop and it was wonderful experience. They fixed our diesel hose that was really leaking and uh, fixed our bark brake, 
ordered us coffee and taxi and that was all together 50 euros yeah and actually another thing about mechanics in here mm. we met a uh, couple from denmark they're on instagram named uh, van La diesel van diesel <laughs> that's a good name but uh, they said that they had a problem with the van as well they went to a shop and the shop was like booked there was no times available they still took them in and fixed the van it was half the price that it would have been in denmark and the guy was so happy with the price that he uh, tried the danish guy danish guy yeah he tried to tip the mechanic he said he wanted to tip him 20 euros 20 euros yeah and the mechanic was literally like no i'm happy that i could help you out and I want you to spend that money on your holiday here in Greece. Just enjoy. Um, what does that say about Greek people? It's it's brilliant that not whole not the whole world is running after money and like focused on this. So, but we will and, still keep on talking about money. So you want to tell? I'm gonna tell it myself. Yes. So another cost around the van, with the van was uh, the most expensive two kilometers we crossed the bridge <laughs> that was like 20 years 30 cents for yeah. a dollar on a bridge coming away from Peloponnese so big reveal we are not done Peloponnese anymore turns out that if you would take the ferry from Patras to Napaktos it would be basically half the price uh, we had not done our research again and apparently we, li we like to spend our money. We like to spend our money. Uh, how much did you like to spend on food this month? Uh, a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> we have done some big changes at the start of this month. We had decided that we should have more greens on our plates. Um, and also now, at the end of this month, we have made even a bigger change. We have decided that there's not gonna be any meat on our plate. Yeah, nor meat or fish. Yeah. And that's caused uh, by two documentaries. Sea Spiracy, what just came out a few weeks ago, it's trending on Netflix, it's really popular now. And Cowspiracy from like six years ago. But it's a hard decision for me. I really love fishing meat. I, I really enjoy eating them, but we're doing it to um, save the world. <laughs> yeah, just for the environment. Uh, if, if you want to know more, just check out those documentaries. If you don't want to feel guilty about fi uh, eating fish or meat, don't watch them. That's our decision. We are, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Meaning we are eating a lot of greens and that has stepped up our costs on food and yeah. we have spent on food this month 301 euros and something since. Plus we have eaten, eaten out. out. Yeah, 31 euros for that. Food. Yeah, so that's been bigger than last month. But we're happy we're eating well. Yeah. First off, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and the next expense uh, is diesel, uh, also way bigger than last month and uh, we have spent 267 euros on diesel. Com I don't know how much was it last month, but it, it's way more because we've done way more kilometers. Like last month we did 650, now this month we have driven 2146 kilometers so like over three times more i said the kilometers yeah what more statistics water 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 we've spent 415 liters of water yes and we have used but we have not used any of it on uh, washing our clothes nor washing ourselves with the clothes, we have an excuse. Uh, if you re remember Christus, the awesome Greek farmer, we did our laundry at his place. He even wanted to get clothes off our backs to like 
Yo, uh, your pants look dirty. You want to take them away? Uh, I can make your like a grass thingy that covers up the chiglets. I don't know. <laughs> I've never used that word before. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Christos washed our clothes. Yeah. And the truth is that more you get into van life, the I don't know if the word is laziness or or whatever we should be using, but we don't feel anymore like putting some water boiling on the stove and then washing our clothes or even washing ourselves. We've been using just beach showers. So literally where she's getting is this month we have washed our hair once. <laughs> uh, With shampoo. With shampoo. With yeah. shampoo it was only yeah. once. We've yeah. been swimming a lot and beach showers as well beach but, showers but without some shampoo so yeah and we did some research on it and it turns out that it takes around six weeks for human hair to start cleaning itself so that's a great excuse so uh, and, and, and and it's also a great introduction uh, um, to saying that uh, we're not planning to wash our hair with shampoo next month we're gonna see what happens <laughs> we'll let you know if they then it turn into dreadlocks or something but yeah. We'll see. God, we're starting to sound like dirty hippies now. Yeah, we're going full ve vegetarian. We don't wash ourselves anymore. <laughs> we're not dirty. We go swimming. Yeah. We go swimming. We rinse ourselves. So it's more laziness than hippiness, I'd say. But anyways, last four weeks. Out of those weeks, we did spend one week pretty much in one place. Yeah. Uh, there was an Estonian couple who contacted us and was hoping that we could build a irrigation system for their beach house here in Greece. Because they are in Estonia and they can't come here. They're stuck over there and uh, sadly the postal services from Estonia to Greece took forever and the keys never reached us. They said it would take max two weeks, three weeks later we went there and they said it's gonna be at least another week. And we didn't have that time to just wait and sit on our asses. We, our plan is to be in Turkey by the start of May. Yeah. And in that case, we just didn't see it happening that we would just yeah. wait somewhere for another week. We should also talk about the extraordinary experiences that Van Life Greece brings. Mm -hmm. And uh, It is April right now, yeah. within the month. We've been experiencing extremely hot weather and we have also driven in snowstorms. Yeah, so that just gives you an idea how different Greece is. There's everything in here, just uh -huh. this country is beautiful, it's lovely. Another thing that this country has is uh, volcanoes and we went to one of them. In fact, we went inside one of them. Yeah. It was awesome. It probably sounds even more awesome because the volcano hasn't erupted for probably um, 2000 years. But we still got to go inside a volcano. <laughs> and uh, a cool thing that goes along with volcanoes is hot pools. And we visited two or one. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the first one wasn't really hot pool, it was, uh, it was cold. It was a cold pool. Yeah, the view was great, but the experience was rather horrible. <laughs> the second one was great. The second one was awesome, yeah. Sec that was yesterday. And it was located at uh, Hot Gates, uh, Thermopylae. So that's the place where Leonidas and 300 Spartans fought off or held off the Persians until they got betrayed. <laughs> History. <laughs> uh, another uh, really cool uh, experience is that we have been given 77 free oranges by various Greek people. And it might seem like I was looking at the notebook at the moment, um, reading what what has been given to us, but I was actually looking at the oranges. <laughs> and uh, those oranges really make it easier to eat healthy as well. Like They grow everywhere, people want to get rid of them, and we are just happy to take them and use them everywhere. Yeah. 
love oranges. Love free oranges. And, um, and although the last extraordinary thing isn't quite to do with our travels, but on the other hand, it has everything to do with our travels, we've reached thousands of subscribers here on YouTube. And it's amazing. It's just amazing to know that thousand people in the world care what we do in our little man, Van Freya, and thank you, thank you to each and every one of you. It's, it's just such a wonderful feeling and just motivates us to create more and more. And what also comes along with this is that uh, we're gonna start earning a tiny bit of an income here from YouTube. It's, it's been a dream and you guys have made it possible. Thank you. You got Thierry over here? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> her off. I'll, I'll take it on from here. Uh, we also want to thank several people who have taken their time to write us emails, messages, to let us know about all the secret places and wonderful places in Greece. Um, and thanks to them, we have our itinerary for Northern Greece all the way until the end of April. There is still much to see, much to do, and we would not know most of those places without you. So wholeheartedly we are very grateful. So thank you for all the wonderful hidden places and if you have more just keep them coming. <laughs> keep them coming, that is very true, but don't keep us in Greece for longer than, uh, than the end of April because we are going to Turkey. Yeah. And a very cool thing is that the Turkish border is now open yeah. uh, with Greece. Yep. So as of 1st of May, Greece is going to be open for tourists and that is going to be the date when we want to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, since we're going to Turkey, there's going to be another video like this probably in less than a month, like the last thing before we uh, leave Greece. And in that video, we were planning to uh, answer all your questions. So if you have any more questions about van life, traveling Greece, yeah, even us, we can probably answer. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning the next video, the next video is gonna be in less than a month. I mean, like the wrap up video. Yeah. It's gonna be in uh, less than a month. We will wrap up our whole experience in Greece but we would love you to ask some questions yeah. either put it in the comments under this video or yeah they can actually write them to your Instagram as well that's what I was about to yeah. say yeah it's uh, at it's my home with him mm -hmm. written together my home with him my home with him <laughs> <laughs> and once again thank you so much for supporting us watching us if you're first time on this channel and you like what you saw, go ahead su subscribe. And for you, I'm gonna leave two playlists here on, here as well. One is gonna be the vlogs when we have traveled in Greece. Other one is gonna be more about van life and us and what we're doing here. You can check them out. And uh, we will see you on Monday. <laughs>